Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Trap Master Railway Adventures, Episode 28, The co Tender. One day, Thomas, Scarlow, and Percy, like usual, were sitting in the area until the controller arrived. He arrived on the cloud car. Since he had on, since he had on ripped clothes, he didn't want to embarrass himself, so he stayed in the car. I have a very important announcement for y'all, for y'all three engines today. He said, "What is it?" said the engines. Well, he said, um, well, uh, so Tom and Pat, he's got a job over at, the, at another railway, but he's still gonna, he's gonna email me, so I'm going to be, you know, a new controller for probably the rest of the year. The engines were not happy at all. Anyways, I gotta go now. Goodbye, he said, and the car rode away. This is disgraceful, said Thomas. Yes, utterly disgusting, if you ask me, said Percy. One of the most despicable things I've ever seen, said Scarlowy. We should tell Sir Tom Hattie. We should tell Sir Tom Hattie. Go, come back, said Rosie. That's a good idea, said Thomas, but how? And, but, however, James was focusing on somebody, something else. What's the matter, James, said Percy. It's Doug, it's Donald. What about Donald? said Scarlowy. Donald? Well, he bumped when I went up the when I went up the hill, he bumped me. Me me he bumped you, said Thomas. When I was going up the hill, I was with a heavy freight train. He pu he pushed me back down and we all wrecked. And I'm very mad at him now. And I'm gonna get revenge on him. Oh, said Thomas. Well, good luck with that. Yeah, said James. Ha! <laughs> good luck with that. Hopefully you can do it. Donald's pretty skilled. He may have folly with trucks, but he is experienced with the uh, with the other with the rest of the heavy of things. Whatever, said James. Just move out of the way. Whatever, said Percy. Goodbye, James. Said James. And off the way. I'm going to, I'm going to, um, go see and steal it, said James, and he puffed away. He saw Henry. Donald in the distance. Then Donald was also asleep. Donald was asleep. Aha! Said James. There we go. Now I can steal it since he's asleep. He uncoupled it from Donald and he set off with it. said James. I've got his tender now. Oh, whatever. When Donald gets mad, don't say anything. Me. Whatever, said James. But then, the controller had stepped out of his car when he came back. James, said the ten said the controller, I want you to go pull that box car over, that box car over there. Oh, said James, okay. Well do, said the controller, and the controller walked away to his car and drove away. Alright, said James, I'm going to use this tender. He, oh, I don't know, said Gordon, he would not be happy. Oh, who cares, said James, just move out of my way, just move out of my way. Whatever then, said Gordon. He was going to use it. As a cold car. James knew this was illegal, but he knew it had to be done. For Donald to not tease him again. <clears throat> Alright.
James, Sir Gordon, be careful. I know what I'm doing, Sir James. I know what I'm doing, Sir James. Don't worry about it, Gordon. And James set off. Good luck, James. Whatever, said James. Donald was sitting in the siding. Ah, uh, said Donald. This is great. Me and my tender. His driver checked. Donald, there's no reason to say that no more. Why, said Donald. Look! Look! There's no tender on you! What? What happened to it? Ha! Ha! Said James. Look! I have it. Why do you have my tender, said Donald? Said Donald crossly. Because what you did to me yesterday. Now it was embarrassing. Now I'm embarrassing you. And James tucked away. Ugh, said Donald. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I will get back in him for sure. But then, however, for some reason, Donald started rolling. What the happening? He said. I don't know, said Donald. I don't know. Uh oh. Oh no. I have no tender. The driver jumped clear. The driver jumped clear at the last second. Uh oh. Oh no, said Donald. Oh no. He started going. What's going to happen? He said. What's going to happen? I don't know, said the driver.